y'all this is frostbite that occurred within five minutes oh, do y'all remember that kansas city chiefs playoff game back on january the 4th well i don't remember either because i don't follow football <laughs> but i did see this okay uh he took off his glove for five minutes to set up a tent at that game let me show you how cold it was and i'm sorry it was january the 13th the kickoff temperature was below four degrees the wind chill factor negative 25 degrees you could get frostbite within 30 minutes but as i say that he got frostbite within five minutes it is the coldest chiefs game in arrowhead history let me let you hear from the doctor who's treating them also if you don't see this full story please head to my youtube the carolina diamond like comment and subscribe now there were dozens of fans that were treated for frostbite from that game and 70 percent of them are gonna have to get amputated let me let you hear from the doctor now getting to the point where we are starting to discuss their amputations that might be necessary. And for the estimated 30% lucky enough to avoid amputation after undergoing treatment the past few weeks in hyperbaric oxygen tanks. It's still a lifelong process. They will have sensitivity and pain typically for the rest of their lives and will always be more susceptible to frostbite in the future. So we're also educating them to make sure they stay warm over these next months and years to come. Now, the American Academy of Dermatology recommends these tips to prevent frostbite, dress in loose, like comfortable layers, protect your feet, toes, hands, and head. Make sure snow can't get inside of your boots or clothing. Keep yourself hydrated and look out for the symptoms. Now, listen, it could feel like burning. These uh people were treated at the burn institute because the burning doesn't also mean heat as well and just prayers out to those that are going to have to have hands fingers toes whatever amputated and then those who are going to have to struggle with it the rest of their life now just to give you a little bit of nfl history that wasn't the coldest game that was played in history that was number four number three was a game played in minneapolis which was negative six degrees that was back in 2016 um at 1982 nine negative nine degrees in cincinnati and then the coldest game played was in green bay negative 13 degrees 1967 let me know if you were at any of these games let me know if you ever had to be uh treated for frostbite and god forbid have something amputated let me know